Yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. We're about to play up against the Toronto Raptors in game four. If we win this game four, we win the series. We're about to sweep the Raptors if we win. So let's head on to the game. So we start the game off, obviously 0-0, but we started off with an alley-oop to Jordan Hill. That should have been an N1, but in 2K, I swear to God, you cannot get an N1 alley-oop in this game. So, they just gave me gold tending, but that should have been an N1 alley-oop. Fareed is running the break as he throws it down once again. I mean, actually no, that's the first time he's thrown it down. Jonah Clarkson threw it down two times and then Fareed. But this game, I won't lie, it's a game for to sweep the Raptors, so I was, I was putting in work, like, I was trying to do the best I could do, because I don't want to play another game, right, I want to see how far we can make it in this series, and if we can't make it, how free agency will go, talking about free agency, we'll play, we'll play, we're facing up against DeMar DeRozan, DeMar DeRozan is a, he's just so good in 2K, like, it's unbelievable, he's not the best shooter, I mean, he's a great mid-range shooter, but he, he kind of reminds me of a young Kobe. Um, I mean, obviously, mentality, not as good as Kobe. Skill level, not as good as Kobe. But he's, he reminds me of a young Kobe. Athletic ability, maybe not as good as Kobe, but he's, he's still pretty good. Um, he's a great scorer, and uh, he wears an afro. Kobe Bryant, he wore an afro. I mean, you don't really wear an afro, but, you know, he has an afro. So, I guess that's probably what I'm trying to say. Kyle Lowry draws the foul right there, gets the M1 to go. And this was just too easy though. This is for a 10 point lead. Splash! That's a 10 point lead already in the first quarter without Derek Denied. Rose, by the way. We got a nice block right there, but it didn't it didn't it didn't even end up doing anything because they score right back. Playing some great defense with who? Is that Joe Green? You bet it is. Joe Green's actually playing defense. I run it up and I see the one and only Joe Green. You know he's on offense. <laughs> you know he's on offense. I mean it's Joe Green, alright? Sometimes he plays that defense, but on offense, you know he's going to be there. Look at PG throwing it down right here. Woo! Paul George putting in that work. We get a quick steal on Louis Scola right here. And look at this beautiful pass down to Fareed for the easy slam dunk. Talking about Fareed, my Heat, the Miami Heat, played up against the Denver Nuggets the other day. And the boy Hassan Whiteside got a triple... Goddamn double, 11 blocks, I don't know how many points or rebounds, but I know he got a triple double, man. I think it was like 19 points, 17 rebounds, 11 blocks, you gotta be kidding me. Triple double with 11 blocks, that was absolutely insane, talking about insane, whoo, Joe Cunningham throwing it down right there, that was insane. And look at Joe Green, Woo! get him my post up, boy. Get another Denied. one. Oh, that's another block right there. But yeah, not Joe Green. Hassan Whiteside, he seriously put in that work in real life the other day. Now, I talked about this the other day, and I'll talk, you, I'll talk about it at the end of this video as well. But I want you guys to comment down below some players that should get in free agency. We all, like, actually, instead of players, maybe comment down position. What position do you think I need? Because if I go over my starting lineup real quick, I have Derrick Rose, when he's, you know, healthy. <laughs> Derrick Rose, CJ Miles, Paul George, 59-37 going to the second half. That's crazy. This was honestly my best game ever. 81% from the field, 23 assists, 6 blocks, 5 for 7 from 3. We were just balling at the half. But yeah, starting lineup, D Rose, CJ Miles, Paul George, Fareed, and Jordan Hill. What? Out of those players, what position do you think I need a new player for? Like, in free agency, do I go after a better shooter? Denied. guy? Do I go after a better power forward? Do I go after a better center? I don't know yet, because when I was playing this game, Fareed and Jordan at heel, they were putting in work as the big, as the big men, and then CJ Miles decided to show up in the second half as well, as you can see, splashing that three right there. So. I, I don't really know what position I need, and I guess it ultimately depends on how well we play in this NBA playoff series as well. Look at Jordan Hill right there. I mean, he 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 was showing me in this game. Don't don't get rid of me, Nick. 
I need a, I'm, I'm, I'm putting in that work for you right now. Don't get rid of me. And then CJ Miles was like, hey, yo, Nick, don't get rid of me either. I'm putting in that work. I'm splashing all these threes down and getting and one laps. I mean, it's crazy. So, yeah, let's commentate over the game now because that's that's enough rambling. DeMarta Rosen gets the and one to go, but he's the only player that's actually putting in that work. I mean, look at the look at the score. CJ Miles giving it up to Gerald Green and he posed the right Louis Scola. Honestly, man, I thought this game was rigged. I thought that I was not playing on Hall of Fame default. Like, I thought I was actually using sliders and playing Kobe. on Because the amount of shots that I was making versus the amount of shots that they were missing was crazy. We're up 79 to 61 going into the last quarter. Jordan Hill was beasting. Paul George was not beasting, though. But CJ Miles, I mean, he was doing work as well. He was splashing threes down like that. I mean, when do I hit threes like that? When do I hit threes like that? It's crazy. Paul George fouls Louis Scola right here, and he's fouled out. Louis, Paul George got fouled out in 18 minutes. He dropped 23 points. I don't know how he got fouled out. I must have been reaching a lot, but it doesn't really matter. Because I had players like Joe Green just putting in that work. CJ Miles putting in work. Kenneth Reed putting in that work. I mean, this game was unbelievably easy for some reason. And I'm going to show you the crazy... What the hell was that? The cry! Did you see what I just said? But I'm going to show you guys the craziest thing in a few minutes. As you can see, Kyle Lowry's trying to get the Raptors back in this game. He nails two threes back to back. Feeds to Marta Rosen for the easy slam. Three minutes left in this game. Look at me! They double me! Three for three! What? How? I don't know! I After that, I was like, no freaking way, bro. This is not on Hall of Fame. He has a 25 three-point shot. 25 three-point shot and I went to um, options I was on Hall of Fame default which means all the sliders are on 50 it was insane I don't know how I made that three honestly it was I don't understand how I made that three but it was crazy like I, I just didn't miss in this game and like I don't know it was insane like this was honestly the best game I've ever played and I played it without D Rose. Imagine if I played this game with D Rose on this team. I mean, it's over. It's literally over. Demar Rosen still trying to put in that work for the Raptors, but honestly, he, he, I, he couldn't. I mean, if I'm hitting threes like that, you you're not gonna come back and win this game. I, I'm sorry, Demar. We win this game, 107 to 87, absolutely killing the Raptors in Game Four of the first round playoff series. I mean, it was just too easy. Too easy. We sweeped the Raptors. DeMar did all he could, dropping 30 points. Kyle Lowry dropped 13 points, 12 assists, shooting a terrible percentage, though. CJ Miles put, you know, 24. This was just a whole team effort. No player dominated, but it was just a whole team effort, which was absolutely insane. I, I was proud of the team, man. I was proud of the team because we were putting in that work in this episode. Like, I've never seen us do so well. Derrick Rose has now recovered from his injury. So we'll have Derrick Rose back for the next round of the playoffs, which we face up against the Charlotte Hornets. And also, a few episodes ago, I, can't, I asked you guys, what free agents would you like to see me get? But here are, the, here are the options I can go for. So now that you know the plays I can go after, comment some plays that I should pick up in free agency. And, uh, yeah, Hassan Whiteside, Dwight Howard, Al Horford, Wiggins. See, Wiggins is going to accept his option anyway. So, I don't think I'm going to be able to get, you know, all the young guys. But comment down below who I should get. Leave a like if you guys want to see the next episode. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!